coming to you guys now with stuff. Um, hello peers, this is Jake Falconer, president of the Breakfast Club, and I know you guys have some questions right now, like, where's Jake's robe? What's the green thing under his ear? And why is it dark in that window? Well, it's nighttime, and we have to do phase one of our buttermilk, fried chicken, and waffles episode. So let's get to it. So I was supposed to use uh, so I was supposed to use uh, fresh herbs and spices, but um, I was too lazy to go to the grocery store again. So we've got a bunch of pre-done ones, but got this fresh rosemary. That do 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 do. Okay, guys, we're taking our herbs and spices putting them in this bowl with some olive oil to make a dredge for our pre-bake of the chicken. Do -do 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 -do. A quarter cup of olive oil going in. All right guys, we gotta mince uh, three cloves of garlic. All right, all right. Put this garlic in there. Now we need to mince uh, 10 bay leaves. <laughs> Chef Peyton cooking in the kitchen, cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna deposit the bay leaves. No, Peyton, I'm putting on my ear. God. Thought I looked cute. Might delete later. But uh, got our, my rosemary here, the only fresh herb. And uh, we're gonna take this little sprig and three others for a total of four sprigs. And just kinda go like this and removeth the leaves. Now we gotta get our second spray. Oh, Peyton. There's a, something behind your ear. <laughs> swoop, 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 swoop. Okay, we're gonna get one and a half tablespoons of sage. Okay, one and one half tablespoons of thyme. Thyme with a Y. Okay guys, I have uh, four pounds of chicken thigh. Look at all those chickens. Uh, Jake's personal favorite fried chicken chicken because the dark meat is very flavorful, very juicy. And we're gonna rub these guys down. Flip your chickens. How's it feel? Ah. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna need to pre-bake these chickens. So when we fry them, we're just gonna get that crispy, crunchy outside. And this little pre-bake is gonna get the insides ready for our frying. So we're gonna have to preheat this oven to 250 degrees. We got our chicken. Step into the ring. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, one hour later, our chicken has uh, successfully pre baked. Pour the juices. Might want to mention that you transferred them into a bowl. We have transferred the chicken into a bowl. Because now we're going to create a nice little hot tub sauna bath. Into our chicken bath. 
We got a quart of buttermilk. Come get the, get the shot. Okay, one tablespoon of hot sauce, or uh, if you're like me, a little extra. One teaspoon of sugar. Okay, now that you've saran wrapped your chicken bath, goes in the fridge overnight. And with that, I will see you in the morning for breakfast time. Do -do 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 -do. Hi, Peyton. It's breakfast time. Well, here's once again. It's morning time, and that means chicken and waffles. Wow! So, we're now gonna fry up our pre-baked chickens and cook some mighty fine waffles. The chickens. Out of the fridge. Okay, so no spa experience can be complete without, you know, another different component from the, the hot tub. So now we need a little dry bath for our chickens. For our chicken breading, we're gonna put in two cups all-purpose flour. Get one half cup of rice flour. Okay, one quarter cup of onion powder. 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 One quarter cup of garlic powder. Two tablespoons kosher salt. Two tablespoons freshly ground pepper. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay, once you give up trying to freshly ground the pepper, just free ground pepper. Two tablespoons. Nobody sees. It's alright. Okay, now we have all of our uh, battering and uh, coating, breading uh, materials. So now we have one large pan to uh, bread the chicken on to prepare for our uh, fryer and another pan with a wire rack to dry them out after. Okay, well, if you're in my situation and your mom doesn't want you to mess up the kitchen, I'm uh, outside crying in the rain. And so we're gonna do that, but you guys at home can just use a big pan, probably cast iron, and a bunch of oil in that on your stove top, if your mom allows it. So we're gonna heat this oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit to crisp up our chicken. Okay, you guys have already seen uh, my pancake recipe and the modified version of that for waffles. Uh, pancake recipe and buttermilk pancake video, check that out. Waffle recipe and breakfast burger video, check that out too. So we're just gonna speed through the process of making my waffles.
Okay guys, after washing your hands, you're going to pick up your chickens and do the patented uh, Jake double dip technique. So because this bowl is really full, you're going to bread it first, put it there, bread all of these first for one time, and then we're going to put them back for another soak in the tub and bread them again to get extra breading. How's it feel? Ah. Double dip time. Remember when they all said double dipping was bad? Well, now you get to prove them wrong. Who said that? Now your vegetable oil is heated to 375 degrees, and we're gonna put that chicken in the hot tub. Okay. Put your chicken in the frying basket. Oh, that's hot. Forgot about that. Don't burn yourself, kids. Jake is very dumb. Yep. Shut up. And uh, put it in the oil. Beautiful. And that's gonna cook for six to eight minutes. What is wrong with my chicken? I don't think you have the facilities for that big man.
Uh, hey guys, this has been another episode of Breakfast Club Cooking with uh, President of the Breakfast Club, Jake Falconer. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.